So this show, I, I'm like, this show has been my, night night two alone has been at least eight hours long by this point. I'm just exhausted. And it's time for Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. I wasn't exhausted no more. I did, no joke. As Roman is in the ring, his music's playing, his awesome new uh, operatic music is playing. He's staring at the camera on me. There's a close-up on his face. I got the uh, uh, notice from the cable box. Are you still there? <laughs> because the show's so damn long. So Paul Heyman does Roman Reigns' entrance. And it's every... And I love Paul. I'm, I have, I, there's no bigger fan of Paul Heyman as an on-screen character than myself. And he was on fire tonight. But he does Roman Reigns' whole entrance, the, 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 the undisputed, re- reigning, defending, wh- whichever championship he has. And he finishes, and they give the mat mic back to the regular ring announcer, but then Brock takes it away. And they put Paul Heyman with Brock Lesnar for the first time 20 years ago, specifically because Brock wasn't very good at talking, and Paul Heyman was. Well, Brock's been paying attention. <laughs> Brock's been learning and working at this. And he did his own ring intro. It's a Paul Heyman imitation, and it's gold. Actually, you know what's ironic about that, since you don't watch Raw and SmackDown? Brock did this on Raw Monday. And when it was over, he goes, that sucked. I'm never going to do that again. And then here we are, six days later, he repeated it. Well, this didn't suck. Yeah, well, he had the fans helping along this time. And he declared himself the... Cowboy country ass kicker who's going to kick your ass. <laughs> Barack Lesnar. And they cut to Roman and Heyman. And Heyman is so butthurt at this imitation of himself. <laughs> we were friends for two decades, and now this man's making fun of me. You couldn't believe it. So the match begins, and this very much felt like, it felt like, as advertised, it was the biggest match in WrestleMania history, whatever they called the stupendous title of this damn thing. It's, it felt like a heavyweight championship match and a special one at that. So, I'm pretty sure. No one corrected me on this. I think this is only the third time ever two guys have had three matches at WrestleMania. It has to be. Hunter and Taker did it. Austin and Rock did it. And Brock and Roman now have done it. And the first one was 2015 at WrestleMania in San Francisco, where Suplex City was born, and people on Twitter were Argue with me. No, it was born when he, the Cena match when he hit a bunch of suplexes. No. In the WrestleMania match against Roman Reigns in San Francisco, Brock Lesnar declared Suplex City bitch. Yeah. And that's where Suplex City was born. Here we are, seven years later, we finally reached the end of our tale. And the match was just a slugfest. They just hit each other with everything they had. If it didn't work, they tried it again. Spears and F5s and Superman punches and suplexes and spears with the barricade. And uh, the, the the ref gets uh, ref gets taken out. Roman hits a low blow and a belt shot, but Brock kicks out of that. And so Roman tries a spear again, and Brock catches him in a Kimura. And Brock's eyes in this Kimura. This 300-pound man was about 150 pounds per eyeball. They were bugging out of his head so far. Roman gets the ropes. So Brock has to break the hold. But Roman is still down, clutching his shoulder, pleading with Heyman. Paul, it's out. My shoulder's out. My shoulder's out. Heyman's pleading back, literally pleading back with him. My tribal chief, I beg of you, keep going. And he gets back up, and Brock goes to the F5, but Roman slips behind and hits one last spear. And after all this time, all these years, he got his big win over Brock Lesnar. Cleans the sheet, escaped the other guy's move, hit his own move, and pinned him. This was a main event of the biggest show of the year. Yeah, it was exactly what I expected. I mean, it was, uh, I mean, it's exactly how they do all of these Roman Brock matches. Just start out with a bunch of suplexes. And it's just one big move, big move, big move, big move. This is not like the AJ Edge match where there's like an extended heat segment. It was just big move, no. reversal, it was not big like move, Edge reversal. In any way. Kick out of a finish, kick out of a finish. Kamura the guy, he manages to get the ropes, go for the finish, reverse the finish, hit the finish, pin. Uh, some people really didn't like the match, but I thought it was a. That was a very good WrestleMania main event style match. If you've seen the match a thousand times, you don't want to see it again. Like I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, but I I thought it was good. I thought it was a good WrestleMania main event. It did feel epic. It was not the biggest WrestleMania match of all time by any stretch of the imagination, but you know they they delivered what you would want, and uh, there you go. I, I like this match. I really don't know what people were expecting. You weren't you weren't going to get a million different moves. You weren't going to get high spots. This was just two big dudes clubbering each other, and it was exactly what it should have been. What do you think, Mark? During this match, 
this was like probably the 50th time this weekend that we saw a guy get punched in the dick. And I said to Brian, why don't they just wear cups? And then, you know, you get punched in the dick and it'll still hurt, but like you won't hurt as much. And Brian said, if you get punched in the dick with a cup on, it'll cut your dick off. That's what he told me. Hey, I just watched Jackass. Cups are not foolproof. <laughs> exactly, Vinny, right? But I don't think you're going to get your dick cut off, Brian. See, this was what I learned when I was in school. Was Somebody uh, told you that a cup is going to cut yeah, your dick the, off? Yeah, the, the cup goes goes over everything. Yeah. And so if you if you, if you you kick the cup up at just the right angle... It's going to cut your dick off. Hey, bro. That's spoken what, that's like what a, I was told. <laughs> spoken like a man who never actually played sports. No, spoken yeah. like a man who never wore a cup. <laughs> Are you I never about, wore a cup in my life. You, I didn't wear a cup of wrestling. I didn't wear a cup doing jujitsu. I never wore a cup. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And I, I never, no one ever got me in the balls because I avoided it. Oh. Yes. Because you're stealthy. Exactly. Anyway, exactly. the match is fine. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know. Like, yeah, you know, it was fucking <laughs> it Brock was fine. It was the all same right. old match that I've seen fucking all these times before. And they're like, oh, it's the biggest match of the fucking century or whatever the fuck they were selling as. And I'm like, bro, like, we have seen this match. It is going to be suplexes. Here's the German. There's the German. Here's the German. Then we're going to get some spears. And he's going to have his little glove. His glove matched his shoes and matched his underpants, if you didn't yes, notice. Yes, it's WrestleMania. Was... Match that shit. He matched his mm. underpants to his glove and Probably shoes. Probably matched his cup. So, yeah, you know, but yeah, I've seen that match. It'll be interesting to see what they do with. Uh, yeah, we've seen that match many times in WrestleMania, but we've also had you know backlashes. Many, I'm sure. I've Summer seen Saudi, that match. Saudi Sir. shows. Sir. Saudi. Sir. Yeah. I've seen that match. Sir. Yes. So that, that is w- w- one question coming out of this weekend is who is Roman's next challenger? I don't Drew have McIntyre. any idea. Austin Theory. Drew McIntyre. I guess, McIntyre. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Vince. God. Edge. Uh, could, no, they're both heel. The Edge Lords. Yeah, the Edge, Edge Lords. Lord against the Bloodline. Uh, well, yeah, I mean he Edge. can. I mean theoretically well, he should be able to work team. both shows now, right? Because he's, he's dual champion. Team. Sure. He can't just be on SmackDown. But is he going to have both belts for like until next WrestleMania? Bro, everybody's listen, got two belts. They Bro. have been planning this match for months now. Okay. So they have. So Paul, yeah, Paul uh, introduces. But they've already had this match. Why would they need to plan it? Paul <laughs> introduces Roman as the undisputed. Uh huh. WWE Universal Champion. That's mm-hmm. how he introduced him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he wins, and uh, one of the announcers goes, "He's the new undisputed Universal Champion." Yep. And I was like, "He was already the fucking Universal Champion. You're literally calling him what he was called in the ring introductions." And then uh, somebody else was like, uh, "You know, he's the uh, WWE Universal Champion." And I'm like, "That you called him that also when he was." So it's like you had all this time to figure out what you're going to call. The guy who wins both belts, and you fucking call him the same thing he's been called? I thought they'd have, like, a new belt. They'd have a new name. No, they just stumbled through calling him the same thing, and now he holds both of the belts. So Through their own Twitter here. Oh, they got an answer now? Well, you're not going to like it. At WWE, (laughs) the tribal chief Roman Reigns has finally defeated Brock Lesnar on the grandest stage of them all Uh to become... The undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Wow. So I guess it's both. It's WWE and Universal. Maybe that's a unification. How about just World Champ? Yeah. What's bigger so than a, What's bigger than a universe? Nothing, yeah. dude. You got a uh, multiverse. Ah, yes. he is the multiverse champion. The Thank multiversal you, Vinny. Multiversal champion. Yeah, there we go. Now we got it. Wow. As soon as he fights somebody on Mars, he can be the. This is dumb. Just calling the world champ. Yeah, and this <laughs> is super dumb. We're, we're everyone, we're, everyone, go to WWE's Twitter. They have a picture of Brock putting Roman in the Kimura, and Brock's eyes are they're universal. I'm gonna retweet this right now. It's Brock's. It's Brock's awesome. Brock is the, this is the best Brock there's ever been. Is is this recent? Cowboy. It is amazing. It, 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 I, baby I face cowboy. Yeah, I don't want to say that it took two decades to get here because he's been great the whole time. But yes, it's the best Brock This ever. is the greatest, yes. I was reading this book about bats. The book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off, okay? A bat can only fl- fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He, he did not jump through these tables. <laughs> no, he, he fell. Just, he fell. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.